An entire Russian brigade was annihilated in Vuladere. UK Defence Secretary Ben Wallace reiterates earlier reports of Russian losses this week. You think through 2024, Secretary of State, you see this going through the whole of this 12-month period? Well, I think, I think, I think my point is, uh, it would be wrong to sort of say troops home by Christmas. I think, you know, the lessons of conflict is never say things like that. Uh, secondly, we are up against a, a president of Russia who has no regard for his own citizens. You know, uh, about two weeks ago, the American assessment was 188,000 dead or injured Russian soldiers so far. Uh, and uh, we've seen reports that over last week, almost a whole brigade, uh, which was attacking Vuladar, uh, a small mining town in the east uh, of uh, Ukraine. A whole Russian brigade was effectively annihilated or destroyed. They lost nearly a thousand or over a thousand people in two days. So it's unpredictable when you have a president and a, a, a Russian general staff that defies reality or ignores reality and simply doesn't care how many people they're killing off their own, let alone off the people they're trying to oppress. Russian propagandists on the other side saw the video of Ukrainian decision-making center. They make threats to bomb it. Почему мы ее еще не решили? Вопрос, разумеется, риторически мы не в курсе. And this is the moment of arrival in the trench. Итак, сел ранг. Afu 2S7 Pion near Bakhmut. This is one of the most heavy artillery pieces in use with the Ukrainian forces. The 203mm shells weight 110 kilograms and carry almost 18 kilograms of explosives. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.